The U.S. dollar is in big trouble. Brazil has teamed up with China to ditch the U.S. dollar and instead use yuan directly when trading with each other. Saudi Arabia is also looking to accept China's yuan as the settlement currency for oil trading instead of using U.S. dollars. BRICS nations such as Russia, India, and South Africa are also looking to ditch the U.S. dollar in favor of yuan or their own local currency. Why are countries ditching the U.S. dollars and embracing yuan? There are several reasons for this. First off, many countries are just tired of being bullied by the U.S. The U.S. has been forcing countries to buy oil with U.S. dollars for decades. If not, they risk being slapped with sanctions. But things are changing as China and Russia are leading this BRICS movement to stay away from the U.S. dollars, and the U.S. can't really do anything about it, as China and Russia are global superpowers armed with nukes. This could mean a lot of trouble for the U.S. if more countries abandon U.S. dollars in oil trading. Because right now, a lot of demand for the U.S. dollars comes from oil trading as countries need to use U.S. dollars to import oil from OPEC countries. But now it seems that major OPEC countries such as Russia and Saudi Arabia are looking to move away from U.S. dollars with many countries expressing the same intent. Besides that, there is too much uncertainty regarding the value of the U.S. dollar as the Federal Reserve has been printing trillions of dollars since the COVID-19 pandemic, which subsequently led to the high levels of inflation we see today. Although they stopped printing money in 2022 and raised interest rates to control inflation, it looks like the Feds are turning on the money printers again to provide funding facilities for banks. Moreover, the U.S. government also has massive amounts of debt that it even had to raise the debt ceiling several times as the debt situation worsens. If the U.S. defaults on its debts, the U.S. dollar will definitely crash and cause ripple effects in global financial markets. This is a huge risk for countries with large U.S. dollar reserves and debt instruments, which is why countries are now starting to de-risk and diversify into other assets. Now we have demand going down as countries ditch the U.S. dollar while supply is going up as the feds keep printing money. And to make matters worse, the recent TikTok Congress hearing has made the U.S. the laughing stock of the world. If more countries ditch the U.S. dollar, there will be a significant drop in its value as countries start dumping billions of dollars from their reserves into the forex market in favor of other currencies, such as the UN.